Please help support the channel by visiting our Amazon store, affiliate link below. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater here with, oh, 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 I'm so happy. My nipples, they're so hard. I could cut glass. I'm actually legitimately excited about this news. So for those of you who, who follow my channel, you know I happen to be a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. I have been ever since the summer of 2001 when the first movie came out. And I've loved where it's gone ever since Fast uh, Fast and Furious came out in 2009, and I've I've been to the theater every every opening weekend every every time, and I just love these movies. Um, so I've been kind of curious what's going to happen with Fast and Furious nine and ten, the last two films in the franchise. Now we did find out that they pushed it from April 2019, this would be Fast Nine, into April of 2020, which was really confusing for many fans because they were like, "You guys are on this two year cycle, what?" the hell's going on why not just wrap it up a little bit faster well this of course had uh, had a lot of rumors uh, circulate and we did find out that Hobbs and Shaw so The Rock and, and Jason Statham are getting their own spin-off movie and this was apparently a bit of an issue for Tyrese who's been kind of beefing with The Rock uh, on social media and whatnot for quite some time as a result of this information never mind the fact that Hobbs and Shaw did have the best chemistry in Fast and Furious 8 and them being in a spin-off would be perfectly fine but i understand why tyrese was apprehensive he had said that uh, him and Ludacris were approached about a spin-off film a few years prior but they opted uh, to not do it because they wanted to make everyone uh involved they wanted it to be a family affair they're very connected to this entire cast and that is actually super commendable the rock on the other hand having come in late to the party so to speak with fast and furious 5 he's been around though five six seven and eight now he's been around four movies so he's part of the family too but I can understand why he'd want to go off and do his own thing. The Rock is looking for a franchise that can work for him. He's looking for something he can make his own. At this point, he doesn't really have that. He's done standalone movies, and they've been hit or miss. I mean, San Andreas is one where they're planning a sequel if they're not shooting it already, and... I, okay, fine, but the whole idea there is he wants his own action franchise. Uh, why they just don't go back down, to, go back to the rundown and do a sequel to that one, I have, I have, I have no idea. Universal's behind that too, so whatever. But the point is, you're Fast and Furious 9 and 10. That's what leads us to this whole thing here. Um, and, and earlier today, Vin Diesel did a Facebook live stream where he was on some unknown film set, and it wasn't Fast and Furious 9, but some unknown film set, and he's talking about Fast and Furious, talking about who's going to direct it, and he goes on this whole diatribe about who do you think of? Who is the forefather, the architect of the Fast franchise? And he points the camera to Justin Lin. And, you know, he's like, yeah, Justin Lin is back. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. What he says, though, and this is where the, the article on Slash Film that I, I first read this on didn't cover, and I haven't seen anyone else mention, too, is the words that Diesel used. Before, before introducing Justin Lin, he had said the final chapters. So plural, meaning nine and ten. And then when he did the introduction, he was all like, you know, Justin Lin, yeah, doing nine and ten. So that tells me that they've got the Universal went to Justin Lin and they negotiated that he do nine and ten together. All right. So the final two final two chapters of the movie, he'll do them together. Now, what does this tell me in terms of speculation? This tells me that they're going to be shooting it as a two parter. Nine and ten are going to be a two parter. The setup and the finale. We know that this is going to be a big issue because they not only did they bring back uh, Justin Lin, they brought back Jordana Brewster. So uh, so Mia is going to be back, Mia Toretto. Sadly, no Paul Walker. I don't know. They might do something with him with his brother again. I, I don't want them to. I really don't want them to. I don't want to go back and tear off that Band-Aid again. That, Paul Walker's been dead for four years. Let's let him rest. Everything else in that one. So that's that's basically what's going on is they're going to do this is my theory is they're going to do this. They're going to make this a, a two parter uh, kind of like Avengers Infinity War part one and part two. Well, however they want to call it now, but the setup and then the payoff, they're going to treat it like the bookend to the Harry Potter movie. Right. Or, or Twilight or, or Divergent. Anytime they took the last movie or the last book and they broke it into two films, Hunger Games even. But they're doing this with nine and ten. And it just to me, that makes perfect sense. So looking at how things are right now, we know that Cypher, played by Charlize Theron, survived uh, the, the, the finale, right, 
in Fast and Furious 8. She's still out there. The franchise has the ability to turn an enemy into an ally, as we saw with Hobbs and both Shaw brothers at this point. We know Helen Mirren's going to be involved. We know that Kurt Russell is going to be back as Mr. Nobody, and Scott Eastwood essentially is taking over uh, Little Nobody. He's going to kind of be the new uh, Paul Walker character. And we know that uh, they're going to be building to this big thing. So far, so far, we haven't really seen them necessarily start laying out a thread for what's going to be happening next, right? So this is going to be the final setup. This is going to be the final thing. We do know that they've talked about the possibility of taking it to space. So this would be very much the time for that whole thing to happen. I don't want them to. I really hope they don't go to space, but that's essentially what I think is going to happen. Uh, they're going to do it. They've talked about it. They're going to they're going to maybe not like go all the way into space, but definitely like upper atmosphere. They're going to do something like that, you know, and then have to drive out of the back of a sh of a space shuttle with with the, with a car. I don't know. I, I the way I look at this franchise now is the franchise has become what Vin Diesel wanted Triple X to do, and and they've kind of been incorporating ideas for Triple X into the franchise. But Justin Lin is the best person to bring it home. He's he's the person who kicked it off. He's the person who made it big, and he's the best person to bring it home. He'll be able to quell any infighting between the cast, right? He'll be able to step in and isolate that and shut it down and put it towards the production. Everyone there loves him. Everyone there respects him. And bringing him in to, to bring it home is going to be the best course of action. Don't get me wrong. James Wan and F. Gary Gray did a fantastic job on their two entries into the saga. But really, Justin Lin, having done four films himself is the person that's going to be able to nail this out of the park. And so, yes, I am legitimately excited for this. I am legitimately happy that this is going to be a thing. And and I, I'm going to call it now. We're going to see it April 2020 for number nine and then April 2021 for number 10. Uh, finishing the film franchise 20 years after it began, which is just insane that I'm saying that about a Fast and Furious film. But what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been 3 Buck Theater. If you guys haven't already, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, click on that bell to get updates for whenever I upload new content, which is pretty frequent. And I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day. Peace out.